by FightHype.com today with Adam Smith. How are you doing today? Very good, thank you. Yeah, great to be back in Birmingham. Oh, it's good to have you back. It's good to have you back. I mean, long, long time. Um, obviously, Frankie Gavin signed in. Um, very talented boxer. As it stands now, you've probably got the, the top three British welterweights in the match and style of the How exciting is that? That's very exciting. I mean, like, the welterweight division is, as we all know, sort of bar the heavyweights, maybe the golden division in, in world boxing. Uh, you know, the likes of, of Mayweather and Pacquiao and Khan and all that. And now over here, you know, Kel Brook fighting on March the 28th, Frankie Gavin back in May. I, I think it's a really exciting time uh, for boxing. I'm just particularly pleased to see Frankie uh, back in Birmingham and in uh, on a big show because I, I think I've always thought he had the talent. You know, he was a wonderful actor. Um, I see him from time to time and I, I just sort of feel a bit disappointed with the way that he, I don't think he's fully put 100% into his career. I think he'll be the first to admit that. And I think that if he does now, this may be the big chance, the last chance in many ways, of, of him to really get amongst the, the big boys and, and hopefully get the world title shot and, and win he craves for. Yeah, I mean, frankly, very technical, skillful, slick boxer. I mean, sometimes. With those sort of boxers, they need a good dance partner. You know, yeah. The way I've seen Frank is kind of up to now is he's been put in the guys that kind of nullify his actual output. So it's like he needs someone that's actually going to show him what he can do. Um, his last fight was against um, Baliskis. Very, very poor fight. I mean, yeah. it's, I think Frankie needs someone in there that's actually going to bring the best out of him. I think, so, I think so. But also, you know, you, you look at the fights with, with sort of the and, and, uh, and, and Bradley Ski. I saw Bradley Ski last week. Actually, I thought Bradley was very, very good that night. You know, so I think Frankie still, you know, has got it to prove. You know, he's he's, he's had a couple of disappointing performances, and, and I think that, that this is the moment now where it, it's you know it's up to him. If he really wants it, he has the ability, and he has the skills, he has the platform too. I, I'm delighted to have him back on Sky, but. It, but he needs to knock him down and get on with it. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Cal being world champion is probably with Frankie at the moment, Frankie's yeah. best avenue to a world title. Yeah. I mean, let's look at the time scale. How close do you think that fight can be to get in May after um, Frankie makes his match uh, debut? Well, I think it's, it's, it's a big possibility, isn't it? You know, Cal Brooks got, well, he had a wonderful win last year and then a, a, a terrible incident three weeks later. He's got to come back and prove that he's he's fit and strong enough to defend his world title. I mean, no one knows quite what it's going to be like after the leg injury. So hopefully he can go up to Sheffield and, and back into his place, having trained away again, uh, put on a performance against Jojo Dam. I'm, I'm sure he will. Um, and then he can think about whether it's going to be a, a Frankie Gavin or someone like a Juan Manuel Marquez who's over here this week anyway at the O2. So I'm sure Eddie will be having talks with them. Obviously, Kel wants Amir Khan, there's no secret of that, that, and that's a massive domestic fight. I'm not sure that will happen just yet because of uh, Amir's schedule, so um, Frankie could find himself in a very good position as far as Kel goes, and that's a fight that, that could be made, but I think that Frankie needs to get his popularity in Birmingham rolling again, yeah. and a couple of really